What up, family? It's Nine Million. I'm back with another vlog. Y'all. Another day getting to another dollar. Well, that's the saying. I ain't getting no dollars right now, though. I can't even lie. I gotta go to the bank. I got multiple banks. Um, I got one bank for my Millie's Holland LLC, and I have another bank for my Body Mind by Nine LLC. I'm on my way to the Body Mind by Nine LLC business right now. Uh, bank, I should say. And I need to talk to a banker. Well, I'm on my way there to talk to him about this truck. Um, hopefully, it's some good news. But we'll see. We'll see. I got an appointment at 11. It is 10.51. And I'm about 10 minutes away. So i check back in in a little bit, y'all. Um, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Please hit that like button and subscribe button for me, if you will. If you didn't already. And, uh, yeah, I'll check back in in a little bit, man. I'll keep y'all posted as to what's going on with this truck and whatnot. All right, so this is gonna be first stop. First stop of the day is SDCCU. It's my credit union I deal with. I've been told credit unions are better than banks. So that's why I got with them. They number one in my city, San Diego. So I'm gonna go holler at this banker real quick. See what he gotta say. Then I need to go get an oil change for this bad boy. And I need to go to the DMV because my registration was due on the 30th. It is now the the 6th. Uh, <laughs> and it's going to go up even more if I don't pay it by the 10th. So that's what I got planned. A bank, B oil change. Nope. A bank, B AAA DMV. If y'all don't know, if you get AAA and you can use their DMV services so you ain't got to go to your local Secretary of State or DMV offices and stand them long ass lines um, only thing you can't do there is get driver's licenses and stuff like registration and all that you can definitely handle it there shorter wait time so that's what I was saying bank DMV and then oil change those are my majors I got to do today <clears throat> I think that's it. Anyway, let's get on to the first one. I'm here. I need my registration. All right, y'all check back in in a minute. Peace. What up? All right, so I'm back. I'm up out of that. I'm out of that, uh, out of that, the fuck. Just left that business meeting at the bank. Found out a little bit of options that I have as far as my truck goes. Um, I was thinking about trading it in to get a Sprinter van. Still thinking about it. I got my options. I guess the problem is that I'm upside down on my truck. So I need to figure out how much I'm upside down on this truck. They, he told me to find a truck that I want and uh, find out what the difference is. And I will have to apply for a loan for that amount. And then they'll let me know if I'm approved for it or not or whatnot. Or I could just refinance and keep this truck. Um, I don't know. I don't know do a little bit more research and figure out what I want to do because refinancing and keeping this truck I guess is not a bad option but I think I can make more money with the van right now especially since I can't get insurance for having this truck and trailer so that's where my dilemma lies know what I mean which one do I stand to make the most money with thinking I need to go ahead and try and get that van, but I don't know what the van prices is looking like, you feel? I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, in the meantime,
time between time, I need oil change. So that's what I'm getting ready to do now. While I'm waiting on this oil change, I guess I'll do a little bit more research and figure out. Figure out some more things. Need to go to DMV too. Should do that next. No closer to the oil change, please. All right, y'all, I got stinging to do. Thanks for tuning in, man. Thanks for listening to me ramble and figure this stuff out. I just need some more money, man. Everything can flow so much easier. Shit. But anyway. Um, you know, since I can't do the hot shot stuff here in this state for at least another year, maybe even two, I was thinking it may be a better option just to go ahead and get a van to do some expedited work in. So, I told him, cool. That's what I'm going to do. If I want to holler at y'all, let me know if y'all think that's a good idea. Um, the idea is to get a Sprinter van of some sort. That way I can still do the junk removals in it. And I can probably most likely get it insured to go over the road, even interstate or intrastate, to do some expediting work with the van. So basically knock out two businesses in one, expediting as well as the junk removals. With the pickup truck, I can't do no hauling, <clears throat> not legally, because I can't get insured. So, anyway, I think I know the answer. I think I know what y'all going to say. But go ahead and get in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Um, I got an appointment to go get my oil change, so that's next on the agenda. So, yeah, oil change, then the DMV. And then the city building to get my business license. We'll see if I got enough time, man. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to stop talking because the baby sleep. I'll hop. Peace. Alright. Upon further thinking... I don't need to go to the uh, DMV, AAA, none of that. Because I read the back of that little form that they sent me in the mail talking about holding like close to $500 for my registration of a car that I no longer have. Um, yeah, I looked at the back of it. It just says to fill this out if you don't have a car, blah, blah, blah. And on top of that, I found the release of liability form that I filled out. So... I can't even say that. I found a release of liability form that the DMV, I'm sorry, that the, I found a release of liability form that the uh, car dealership failed out. So I'm going to make a copy of that and send that along with that little form and be done with them. So I don't need to go there. I'm going to head to the city hall building right here in my city and get my business license. So I think I need a business license for every city that I'm going to conduct business in. But this is the city that my business is located in. You feel me? So definitely getting the business license for here. I'll worry about the other suckers later. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm on, man. Just another day of handling business, G. That day ain't glamorous. I am what I am trying to work on. And the key word is trying. <laughs> I'm failing at the moment um, is being able to handle business like this and still be able to get paid that's what I'm working on man straight up working hard on this is one of them steps in it man getting my business legitimized and maybe I can get on some city listings or something like get involved with the city ordinances or whatever I don't know what they call in the comments if you know uh, in the meantime between time man I'll holler at y'all in a minute still out here making moves man it's almost 3 o'clock everything just takes forever so if I were to get the oil change I, th I got that done if I didn't say that already uh, let me fill this form out and get in here y'all in a minute peace
definitely get information on um, business license requirements to start a All right, I'm gonna make this short and sweet. A long story short is I ain't got no business license. <sighs> Excuse me. These mugs said they, it took forever to get back to me because they were going back and forth over legalities of where's this junk going to be sorted and where are the trucks going to be? What type of trucks do you have? Because they have legalities on all of that. So I'm like, look, I'm doing the sorting at the dump. Like before I can even go to the dump, I have to take the recyclables to where they need to go. Then I can go to the dump. You feel me? Like, so she was like, yeah, just fill out these forms, these applications, basically it's an application. Um, answering these questions and then we may be able to sign off. So I'm like, so what'll happen if I don't fill out this form? She said, then you won't have a in-home occupation license. And I said, so what happens if I don't have an in-home occupation license? She says, well, then legally, you won't have a legal business in the city. And I'm like, so then what happens? She said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So it's looking like I ain't getting no business license. G. I get one if they come after me and ask me for one. How about that? <laughs> this don't make no sense like i'm trying to be legal i'm trying to get y'all my money like okay so what about all these businesses out here all these trucks and stuff that i see out in the road that say jumpy move on the side of them so they could be attached to a commercial business or a commercial building of some sort or some blah 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 so needless to say i don't think i'm apply for this license man i'm gonna just boom it how i can as a, as i'm doing now and if they come after me and ask me for some money find me or whatever then i deal with it then because yeah, yeah i'm like so what happened if i if i had a truck that was more than ten thousand pounds i don't but if i did and i do parked it she said well we're reactionary based so basically somebody will have to complain so if ain't no complaints, no harm, no foul, right? That's how I'm looking at this license too. No harm, no foul. I got insurance. You feel me? Uh, I ain't even got no signs on the truck, man, because I didn't want to have to deal with no bullshit. You feel me? Like, I guess it may be different if I lived in a house. I mean, by it being an apartment, that's what they're really looking at. Like, you're not probably sorting this stuff out on the side of the road or in front of your apartment building, are you? Like, nah, man, ain't nothing to that. <sighs> I don't know, man. Ain't nothing running smooth for the guys. <laughs> like, nothing. I can't get no straight answers. Everything's if this and if that. Like, I tried to go get the truck. They talking about, okay, how much the truck going to be? How much are you backwards or behind? I'm like, man, we can look it up, bruh. It's like, just let me know. Give me rough estimates, okay? How about that? So I got some rough estimates. Yeah, I get here to City Hall. She can't give me no clear answer. Just fill out this application. Basically, tell on yourself. And then we'll decide whether we're going to sign off. Um, yeah, I ain't doing none of that. <laughs> I ain't signing off on shit. I got this form, and I got to the point where it said, what about your vehicles? I'm like, uh. Man, let me go in here and ask some questions. That I'm glad I did. So I've been telling on myself. I would have gave my address, apartment number, and everything. Anyway, man, that boy got a headache, man. I feel like I feel like I ain't got nothing accomplished. I got an oil change and a whole bunch of nothing else. Anyway, man, I got some money, bro. I gotta get some money. All right, y'all, man, I'll tune back in later. All right, I ain't even gonna lie, man. I'm irritated. It's late in the day. And I'm done. My day is done. Try again tomorrow. Wake up on the other side of the bed tomorrow and 
feel better, move better, clear mind, all of that. And right now, I'm just irritated, bro. It seems like ain't nothing working. It's just been one of them days, man. It's been one of them, one of them weeks. <laughs> Straight up. But anyway, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. I'll see y'all later, man. Peace.